This is why I don't deal with bitches like you. Oh, I'm a bitch now. You gonna call me a bitch in my face? I don't deal with women like you. you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just Olivia Lewis. I'm trying to be more consistent with my videos and I have time now, so I'm just gonna do a bunch of them. That so, wasn't recording, but okay. Um, yeah, so the first couple I'm going to speak about is, well, the messiest couple. So I'm gonna speak about the messy situation first. And, oh Jesus. I'm gonna speak about the messy situation first and then the sweetest one. Um, so in my opinion, the messiest one was, matter of fact, not in my opinion, in everyone's opinion, the messiest one obviously is Cameron, not Cameron, Jesus Christ, is Carlton and Diamond. Um, he was just being an asshole about his situation. But even before he told her, when he was just introducing himself in like episode one, and um, it was episode one that he introduced himself, I think so. Um, you could kind of see that he was, he was not fully straight. Even if, even if, a little, a little, even if it was a situation where he didn't know, I have just kind of felt that vibes from him, and him calling out her, her out of her name, um, that wasn't cool, throwing away the ring, it was, I don't really think he actually loved her, because if he did, he wouldn't say all of that, and especially on camera, like, he would not, um, I feel like, I feel like his proposal was disingenuous, if that's the word, um, I don't feel like he really felt anything for her and I feel like Diamond is better off without like without having him in her life because that's just baggage you don't want. Yo, fucker. Um, Diamond is a sweet girl though. I really liked her and you should not have come for her lace from because we all have that day when our lace slips back. And the way how you with the way how he was talking to her, my lace would have slipped back too. But anyway, that's none of my concern. <laughs> um the next one is kenny and kelly now i feel like kenny and kelly was like the the snakes of the group like i, I know people are gonna disagree with me but if you watch their episode when they were um on vacation and they were sitting they were like laying on the little yacht thingy they were like this was actually them oh um i don't think anyone else is gonna make it because we just we're just so in tune and i'm like y'all boring but that's fine but the thing is with them, like, I feel like anyone who says that <laughs> probably won't make it because why would you say that? Like, why would you be like, oh, I don't think anyone else would make it? You're over here, like, wishing bad for other people. But I feel like they're not together now, obviously, spoiler alert. But, um, yeah, I feel like, I feel, I just knew that they weren't going to do it. First, Kelly was, she, I don't really think I got much of her personality. She was just like a normal girl. She didn't make any drama only that little snake talking um here and there when she was with her man kenny but and kenny just felt like i felt like kenny was just going with the flow man i feel like he was just like wherever the wind blows me that's where i'll go for jessica and mark <laughs> jessica and mark now oh my gosh that's the funniest that's the funniest <laughs> funniest couple i've ever seen poor mark is that the sweetest guy the sweetest fucking guy Oops, I just cursed. The sweetest guy. Um, do I have to bleep those out on, on YouTube? I don't think so. Hmm. Anyway, poor Mark is like the sweetest guy. And Jessica is over here playing this dude like a fiddle just because she couldn't get, which is the next couple we're going to talk about, she couldn't get Barnett. So she was like, mm, let me just let me just go and get the the second because she was going back and forth between barnett and and mark outside of the pod you would see a totally different barnett an introspective barnett a sophisticated you know holding himself high right yeah she was going yeah it was barnett right yeah she was going like back and forth between barnett and mark because barnett was being an indecisive ass i'm like why do why were these girls because there were other girls there why were they like dying over barnett like he's nothing to die over but that's just the only reason why i said i'm not saying that he's not good looking i'm saying that the way how he was flipping like he he didn't know what he wanted, but he did even say it himself that he didn't really he was being indecisive and he didn't know why um yeah so mark really good guy but jessica was just she was just friend zoning this guy so hard no <laughs> no 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 even 
like even when they went on vacation their first day and i guess the topic of sex came up and she's like mm -mm. for me personally i just want to wait because until i you know get to know you a little bit more i'm like <laughs> i'm like the lies you tell you just don't want to do anything with this dude you just tell him so he can go and find a nice girl and also when um when she she was like second guessing their age gap like every time every time mark would come up with like um like a, a like a like some positive words she would like kick them down with like some with like some negative like negative reinforcement i don't know but she'd be like barnet mark would be like oh yeah don't worry about it like it's good i don't think people are gonna judge us nothing like that just because like yeah but they're gonna say like we're 10 years Old, younger and I'm 10 years older than you and it's gonna be weird and then her own friends her own friends were like no it's not gonna wear not gonna be weird look at um what's his name Joe is it Joe Nick look at Nick and Priyanka they're so cute and she has such like a cute age gap with him and everyone likes him they're doing well look at that and you could have like <laughs> I'm not sure if she recognized but when they were talking to her at lunch you could see her face drop it's like she would it's like she wanted them to to not agree with it yeah so I'm back yeah so it's like she wanted them to not agree with it um it's like every step they took everybody was so happy for mark but it's like jessica was like not having it and she ended up she, she ended up like not getting married to him which was a given like i don't think anyone watching this show really thought jessica would marry mark um only mark i guess um poor mark but only him um the other one is damien and gianna was it damien that everyone was going no no damien is that no so damien and gianni gianna gianna i think that's how you pronounce her name gianna or gian gian gianna G i'm gonna call it gianna because gia gian giania giania gia anyway i'm gonna call it gia g i'm gonna call her g actually because that's what um damien called her calls her so okay so damien and g now everything started off good right <laughs> And I was actually hopeful for them. I was like, mm, this could be like something in the making. Like, you know, they were actually speaking about hard facts in their, um, when they were in the pods. They were speaking about things that you should actually speak about if you're gonna actually get married to someone so quickly. But it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's like Damien. It's like Damien was like holding back his true self. I feel like he was more dominant than he, than, than he was letting on. You destructing the process? You don't care if you bring me down? If I didn't I do care nothing to try about to bring out bringing the best you down, then I would have called you out and I would have been like... Oh. And because G was like, oh, I'm dominant. I want to be like this. But it's, it's like he wasn't, he wasn't like seeing the fine, the fine print at the bottom of the contract with her. Because she kind of just... Yeah, so I was gonna say she kind of she kind of just let him have it at some time, and it was very disrespectful, in including um not including but especially when they were in front of guests and what's her name was doing um the birdie thing for Barnett I think um it was just very weird I don't know man like I would be way embarrassed if someone did that to me and I would not want to talk to them ever again but that's just me but um yeah I just feel like he wasn't reading the fine print um. But I feel like what he did when he told her no was the right thing to do. I feel like, I feel like just because we can't get married now because we need to work on some stuff, that doesn't mean we can't get married later. You know what I mean? So I feel like that was the right thing on his part, even though she she looked well hurt. Ma. But like if you actually, if she was actually thinking about it, because if she wasn't being a spoiled brat, if she was thinking about it. If someone played with your feelings like how she was playing with poor um, Damien's feelings, then you wouldn't want to marry them either. Even if you love them, you you'll be second guessing yourself and saying, "What about tomorrow? Is tomorrow she's gonna be good? Is um to um tomorrow um tomorrow we're gonna be okay? Like it just it's just very weird." But um yeah, I feel like that was them. But I think they're still together. Spoiler alert again. I think they're still together, but they're just not. They just haven't gotten married. 
So Amber and Barnett, I feel like this isn't the other couple. So Amber and Barnett, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like for Amber, she was kind of thinking, did do I really have him? his friend and I love him and I'm so lucky. Because he was he was jumping in and out for so for, for like the first two weeks when they were in the pods. So I feel like or week or whatever they were in the pods. I feel like that kind of got to her and she was being very um I don't know, she was just being very like I don't know if I actually have him. She was overcompensating. If you were to ever to actively go after my husband, been I would like your life. How when they got together at that bar and she got drunk, she was just all over him, just sucking the fucking DNA out of his mouth, but um, excuse my French. I hope none of my parents see this. Anyway, so um, so that's Amber and Barnett. I feel like I feel like. Well, I'm not sure if that's just editing, but when they went home and you know she showed Barnett was like second guessing his apartment or his house, and she she was so happy that he actually had one. Um. He, he seemed really happy that she was happy. But then when she started talking about her loans and her credit card for her makeup and, you know, just stuff that I think probably he didn't prioritize or didn't think she should prioritize. I'm not sure if it's editing, but he looked really like, I'm not sure this is going to work, girl. Like, stuff like that. But I, that's that's probably editing. But to be honest, she, she should have. She, she kind of should do something about that hopefully she is because that's not good that's not that's not cute um i don't really have a lot to say about amber and barnett they're just meh barnett is he was just jumping all over the place he's in everybody's story so i guess that speaks for, for itself and the last and my favorite couple Blast off, the course is like a crash collision Cause every choice we make is like a rash decision But the truth is hard to swallow We're the leader's baby and they just hope to follow It's Lauren and Cameron So They were the first to propose I think, yeah, they were the first to propose And yo, like when When they first met each other Like when they came out of the pause and they first met each other Oh, Cameron looked well happy Like <laughs> He was so happy. He was like, "Ooh, girl, like, what's that?" If you see, if you guys like go back and look at his expression and look at Lauren's expression, they were like eating each other with their eyes. I'm like, guys, settle down. It's a show. <laughs> but that was funny. And from that moment, I know I'm like, there could be something here. Y'all, y'all, y'all could be something. They were even crying in the pause. I'm like, guys, so emotional. <laughs> but anyway, um. Yeah, that's Cameron and Lauren. Actually, I'm not sure everyone will be interested in all the couples, so I'll just put a timestamp under the video um, of where I started talking about each couple. But anyway, Lauren and Cameron, they, they were just like good, but geez, Lauren's dad kind of had me... I was like, why are you acting like... He was being way over the top protective. Um, He was just making poor Cameron nervous for no, for no reason, for actually no reason. So, um, yeah, I didn't like that, but it is what it is. Somebody's got to be the tough parent, you know? Um, her mom, obviously, fountain of health, fountain of youth, right there. Now we know why, Karen, why uh, Lauren looks so good. But anyway, I like that she kind of introduced him to the bonnet, too. She's like, <laughs> gotta put this bonnet on. <laughs> that was funny, and I like that he accepted it gracefully. Um... What else about them? Their their wedding was so beautiful. Like tears, man. Tear like I actually had to pause it and like gather my my wits, gather myself, and then watch it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but going back to G and her wedding, yo, she was <laughs> she was overreacting so bad. She ran out of the wedding chapel. She ran it was it wasn't a chapel. She ran out of the wedding space. This girl ran down the road in a gutter. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's so funny. I wish them all the best though. Um, I haven't watched the reunion yet, so when I do watch the reunion, I will I will actually put the video of G running out of her wedding if I can find it because they probably don't put that on something I can find. But anyway, um yeah, so I haven't watched a reunion yet, but I will come back and talk about the reunion because I really actually like this show and I really like the premise of what it promotes. I'm not saying that you guys should just go there and be like, boom, 
two weeks and get married to someone but i really think it's like an interesting topic to actually think about but anyway guys that's the end of my video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next